Well, Hayden, uh, second practice of spring football, something you didn't get to experience here last year. Um, how nice is it to, to have the ability to do this and, and be much more prepared going into the fall? Yeah, it feels great. It feels great getting the opportunity to be with the guys um, back on the field again. It's something that I've been missing, you know, since the season ended. But we're definitely lucky to be out here. We, we worked hard this winter. Um, so we're just going to keep trying to stack days. You know, spring ball is all about how you grow, getting a bunch of guys reps and, and seeing who can play and, and who needs some more work. So um, I'm just looking forward to us being able to stack days and, and kind of take steps towards being a better team at the end of spring. What, uh, what number of offensive coordinator are you on in your collegiate career? So Coach Bell is my seventh offensive coordinator. Uh, this is my sixth offense. There's one year I had an overlap where it was two offensive coordinators calling the same offense. Um, so I've learned six, six offenses in five years um, with seven play callers. So it's been a unique journey for me, but I think this is only going to help me by the time uh, the draft comes around next year and, and starting out pro that process, you know, because I'm able to learn and, and kind of process new offenses quickly. Um, so everything happens for a reason. I kind of feel like this is God's plan for me to, to help me learn, learn how to learn and learn how to adapt. Last year, you're the new guy in the quarterback's room, and now you're, you know, one of the veterans. Um, you know, how have you taken upon yourself to, to be a leader for, you know, the younger guys? <clears throat> yeah, so I was very fortunate last year to be, to be voted a team captain, um, especially after coming here in the summer. And uh, that was one of the biggest honors of my entire life. I'm, I'm so grateful for that. Um, but really, it's just for me, just coming in, being the same guy every day, um, giving my teammates somebody to rely on, somebody they can trust. If they need help, if they need a shoulder, if they need to learn, um, anything I can do to help my teammates, I think that's, that's all, my ultimate goal as a leader is how can I serve, how can I provide for them. Um, so, you know, I'm excited and grateful for the opportunity to do that again in my last year. I know it's early on in the spring, um, and, you know, you had some tremendous chemistry there last year with uh, you know, Kenny Womack, uh, Austin Hance, Leroy Thomas, Anthony Sambucci. You know, obviously uh, Austin and Leroy are gone, and you've got a couple of new guys there on the wide receiver and the tight ends core. You know, how's the, the chemistry building been with those units so far? It's been great. You know, we, we definitely reloaded. Um, we've got a lot of guys that can run, catch, smart. Um, our guys have picked up the offense really well, so it's been good just working on that chemistry every day. Um, and it started when we came back in January. Um, separate meetings, player run meetings, all those things, you know, walkthroughs on the field with me and five or six receivers and the tight ends. Just finding ways to connect with those guys without the coaches there um, on a more personal level. I think that that's helped us. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm excited about watching these guys. And really, I'm, I'm a pitching machine. I just got to find a way to get on the ball. And um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Damari, uh, it's been a long journey for you. Uh, and, and now you're kind of one of the old guys there on the linebacker core and, and on the defense. Um, you know, you've had your chance to, to learn from a, a couple of great linebackers here, and now it's time to, for you to teach the younger guys. Um, you know, what has your transition been like from, from then to now being a leader? Uh, it's been eye-opening to start. It's been, like, at first I didn't believe it, that I was the old guy around and stuff like that. I'm all, I was always looking to the older guys and stuff like that. But it's kind of like when I first noticed it, uh, we had a couple of D linemen come to me, and they, they were asking about moves and what they were going to do. I'm like, hold on. Oh, okay. Now nah, I gotta take on this role and stuff like that. But it's been it's been great. Like, I've always been somebody that I always want people to look to me for help or advice, whatever they got going on. So like, it's right up my alley. It's easy transition, and then everything that I've learned from the previous Zaire, Corvin, C League, all those older guys, I'm still I'm still planting the seeds. And you got Boone Bonama right next to you there oh, to yeah, help. Yeah, you know it. You know it. Yes, sir. A um, couple new faces of, of, on the linebacking core um, so far. Uh, mm -hmm. How have they kind of fit into things, and, and what's the chemistry like for your unit so far? Uh, we're, still, we're still coming together as a unit, like just still building that chemistry with one another. But it's, I like that we're all starting from ground zero. We're all learning a new playbook, and nobody's above anybody. We're all learning from each other. And I think the new guys that we got, they're, just bl they're blending in real good. We make, we make everybody feel like they're home here. Do you feel a little bit more pressure that uh, the defense coordinator is also the linebackers coach? Do you do you uh, make sure that you guys get noticed? It, it kind of well? yeah, it kind of like I love that just because we get um, clarity. There's there's I don't have to go to I hate to say it, but a secondary source to get what he were, his intentions behind what we're getting at and stuff like that. So I love it, and I get like instant feedback. So I love being him being my position coach. All right, thanks, Damari. Thank you.